Hey friend, in this video I am going to show you a little peek behind the curtain into my Google Drive folder for music and specifically sort of for storing my lyric development as as I'm going through different songs, I like to keep all of my lyrics and my different sheets that I use and different processes that I use to sort of work through lyrics all in Google Drive. That way I can access it from anywhere. It's not stored on my computer. You know, so if my basement floods, I'm not screwed and lose everything. Uh, so store it on the cloud. That's the beauty of the cloud. Uh, is that you can access it from anywhere as long as you have internet. So here it is. And right now I currently organize things by the EP that they're targeted for because the main sort of way that I've, I've been leaning towards releasing music at this point is EPs. I think it's the best uh, middle ground between just a bunch of singles. Uh, so it, it is a collection, but it's not a whole album, which is kind of an overwhelming amount of songs. If you're curious why EPs and want to go more in depth, I did release a video probably a month or two back about why you should write and, and record and release an EP, so be sure to check that out. But we're not going to dive into that today. Instead, we're going to just take a quick look at uh, this Infinite War EP folder because this is the one I'm currently working on. These other two, Greatest Gift Single and then the Keeping Memories EP are both stuff that's basically done. Infinite War is something I'm currently working on. So the first thing that I do specifically, uh, and this, this wouldn't apply if you're not, if you're just sort of in the stage of, hey, I'm just writing songs, Joseph, I like EP, album, all that, like it's farthest thing from my mind. I just want to write songs or I just want to write my first song. That's fine. Ignore this part. Next part will still be relevant to you. But if you are targeting an EP or an album or, you know, maybe just a single with a B-side maybe even, whatever it is, I like to create a planning document that sort of takes whatever the collection is and gives a main collection of thoughts that, that, that go into what you're going for. So, you know, I have the, the working title of the EP, which is The Infinite War. I talk a little bit about the theme, about constantly fighting sort of the same battle every day. And that, you know, a lot of people say, for example, that, that somebody, you know, beat alcoholism or something. But, you know, usually somebody who has, quote unquote, beat alcoholism is still not somebody that can touch alcohol sometimes for the rest of their, their lives, right? And they certainly are somebody that if they get drunk, everybody looks pretty concerned, right? Like it's like, oh, you probably shouldn't go that far again. And, and, and that's because it's an infinite war, right? The idea that we totally defeat something that was a temptation for us in the past, I think is, is largely not true. Uh, we, we constantly are going to have those struggles. So it's just, it's just about like beating it back enough that it's never actively destroying our lives, but instead it's something that, that we sort of keep at bay. But if we let our guard down, it could certainly come back. So it's not, the war is not really over in that sense. Anyway, that's sort of the idea behind the album is all the different things that are a constant infinite war. Love is a similar thing, right? You have to choose to love every day. You have to choose to be loyal to your partner every single day. You don't get days off. And that's sort of the central theme of this thing. I talk a little bit about the the general sound that this EP is going for. And then the really important part is here. So first of all, I do have some of the demos, the audio files. Um, that way I can sort of listen to them in bed or in the car or whatever. If I'm, if I'm just, you know, I, I just want to sort of listen to them and, and just see if they sort of speak to me and, and give me some lyrics or something like that or or you know just to critique it see you know does it need more instruments layered in etc but as far as the lyric writing process goes i'm working on nine right now and you'll notice only six of them have numbers the reason i do that is the ones with numbers are the ones that are looking more like they're going to make the ep the ones without numbers are probably going to end up uh, getting moved to the next uh, iteration, if you will, getting moved to the next EP. And, you know, maybe they'll just keep getting moved and they'll never get finished. And maybe eventually there'll be a song that I give up on. But the ones with numbers are the ones that are like, okay, this is far enough in the development process and it's still a song that I think is really good or has really good potential that these are contenders to be on this EP. They also tend to fit the theme well. So in here, I have my three main sheets. And then when I have like lyrics developed, I, I would throw a fourth sheet on here that says like final lyrics or just lyrics. But brainstorm sheet, anybody who has picked up my six-step lyric writing checklist knows all about the brainstorming 
the brainstorm sheet. If you have not picked it up, be sure to do so. It's super helpful. It gives you the six steps that I go through to write lyrics. Uh, I think I think it makes it so much easier to break it up into easily done pieces rather than trying to do, you know, going from a blank page to really good lyrics in one step is uh, most of the time not going to happen. If you're trying to do that, you're setting yourself up to fail, don't do that. Check out the free guide. But the brainstorm sheet is is sort of the first thing I go to. This is where I'm first just developing sort of the idea. I grab images that speak to me just from Google Images. Um, I have a video out there. Be sure to check it out on the channel that dives deeper into the brainstorm sheet, I believe, and also, of course, the free guide, which dives into the brainstorm sheet and the, really the whole process. So I grab images. I usually look at these images as I'm sort of thinking about the song. Here I have sort of a layout of maybe how I think the story is going to progress. This is really just the free-for-all place where I can just put anything that I feel like. The only thing that it always has in common is it has these pictures. So then I also have the related word sheet. Now this is something, uh, I also have a video out on this if you want to deep dive into this. Um, we're not going to go too deep here, but basically this is where I'm trying to gather words that I want to use, evocative words that really fit with what I'm, the imagery and the themes of the song. So this song is called The Wanderer, right? So I pick Wander. So I sort of see it as a sort of Pilgrim's Progress type thing almost. I see the, the Wanderer as going to different villages and stuff along, along this journey through mountains and, and trails and forests and stuff like that. So I'm picking a bunch of, you know, travel person walking in the olden days before cars and stuff to try to get to the next village, if you will, type imagery here at the top, right? So you're searching because sort of the theme is this wanderer who's searching for home. Uh, and the question the song is sort of asking is like, at what point when you keep thinking, oh, this will be home and it's not, at what point do you start to think maybe it's you, that you're just not happy anywhere um, is sort of the underlining theming of, of the song. So pick a bunch of words that sort of are evocative of that, words that are imageries that I want to use, like mountains and forests and a beacon and echoes, lake, fire. And then you just go to like relatedwords.org or whatever, and you grab related words, and then I highlight the ones that I really want to use. So then I take this sheet, and I'm looking at this sheet as I utilize this development sheet. This development sheet is where I'm writing lyrics with no pressure on it, right? Like there's this, this is not supposed to be good. I'm not trying to make these good. A better example might be one that's a little more developed here. I think um, this one is decently developed, maybe. Yeah, so the goal of these is just, you know, I, I'm listening to the music usually because I, I usually have the music mostly written first. And I just type stuff, as you'll know. Like these, this isn't even these lines don't match at all, right? I'm just writing different lines that resonate with me. I'm looking at the related word sheet. I'm looking at the brainstorm sheet. I'm looking at the images. So we're taking all this stuff together, and it's all together in this one folder per song, right? So for the wanderer, I have all three of these sheets in one so that I can do basically what I just did where I'm like, okay, I'm going to songwrite the wa the wanderer. So I open up these three sheets, have them all open at the same time. And lucky me, I have three, three screens in front of me. So usually it's one per screen. I put the uh, development sheet in the middle because that's the one that I'm actively writing in usually. I've already made the related word sheet. I've already made the brainstorm sheet. Those are all to the left and the right. And I work on the song. So this is something that I recommend you do. It is certainly very helpful. You don't have to, of course, match this exactly. But hopefully this gives you some idea of a way to sort of organize your song thoughts. I highly recommend creating a folder per song. And in that folder, having the different documents that you use while writing the song. At the very least, have one document that's sort of for developing the song. And then another document that, like, once you finalize a part of the lyrics you put that 
finalized part of the lyric into there as sort of your official, okay, these are the lyrics that are done. That is my recommendation to you. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to drop a like on this video. Be sure also to pick up that free guide on the six step lyric writing process. If you have not already, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you as always, and I will talk to you next time.